Welcome to the Design in It 9 video learning series. In this video, we're going to be working in the Design in It graphics studio section of the program, converting an image of a gymnast to a sweater pattern. We have a graphic, and I'm going to say open the graphic file. And I have it down here. And this is my friend's daughter winning the meet for gymnastics. And I would like to make a sweater to honor her for that event. This is a lot of color going on. And I really only want her on the sweater for an outline. And so there's two ways to do this. One is to use the new tidy image to get rid of some of the background color and the other is I'm going to call the low-tech method to just do a few tricks so I'm going to open up what I did is I actually took a scissors and I'm going to say zoom fit to height so you can see it and I actually scanned this in in grayscale instead of full color and then I took a scissors and I cut her out and that got rid of the background no muss no fuss and I laid this on the scanner and rescanned it in so that I have a new graphic and if I open the graphic I converted it, see this one here, I converted it to black and white by simply taking the picture of her that I had cut out and a black permanent marker and just coloring her in so now she's black and white. So this is the very low tech way of getting a fast black and white image out of a very complex photo. And this seemed to be the fastest way to go about this. We would like to put this on a sweater front. So I'm going to exit out of this for a minute so that we can decide what size we want to convert this into how many stitches and how many rows. So let's go into original pattern drafting and open a thumbnail. And this is my default directory. And I have here, this is shapes. I'm going to open this up and I have a subdirectory called tutorials. And it's in here named gymnast. So let's find it, it's right here. So this is set in sleeve sweater for a child. She's about 13. View piece sizes, 124 stitches, 176 rows at this tension. So we need to actually put in the tension here, tension and notes. And I'm going to say that this is going to be eight stitches and 11 rows per inch. And down here, I can put notes about this shape file if I want. And I'm going to say save this. And then I'm going to go here, piece sizes, 122 stitches now because it's automatically done the math for us for how many stitches and rows. Designing it is great. There's almost no place that you need to pull out a calculator and do any math whatsoever. Go into Stitch Designer section of the program. Again, we have an untitled piece of fabric, 40 stitches by 40 rows. We have a pattern in memory. So I'm going to say View Piece for the front and design it will automatically make this a bigger pattern. It still is only 40 by 40 stitches, but it has lots of repeats. And if I looked at the repeats here, it's saying I have four across and five vertically. 
So again, make a little box. I want the gymnast to be about this big. Turn on the tagged box. Click on the middle. And it says at the bottom, this is 84 stitches wide, 85 rows high. That's what we wanted to know. So let's go into Design in It Graphics Studio and we're working smart. Open a graphic file. Here's the one that we colored in. Zoom fit to height. The image type should be a picture. And we know that by checking and also this background is gray and not bluish gray. Grid settings. We said that we wanted it to be 84 stitches, let's say 85. And it's saying to retain the correct proportions for your tension, which is eight stitches and 11 rows per inch. You should have 85 stitches and 90 rows to keep this completely proportional. So we're going to make that change. And now we have 85 stitches and 90 rows. And I'm going to say, apply this. Okay. And this is the preview of the conversion. And it has some white in here that I'm not happy with. And that's because, let's turn this grid off. This is kind of gray and different colors. And we can use our tidy image and we can pick up all these colors in here like this just by swooping around. And then we can pick up one of the darkest colors with our right mouse button. And we can say, I'm going to check off the two check boxes here and say change the entire grid that has those colors. And it's doing it now. And look at here, it's mostly uh, done. We could even go in here and scoop up another couple colors and do it again. And it's working and now it's fixed this. This one little stitch here, we can fix that later. And if I convert it, preview the conversion, view the yarns, let's say auto, two colors per row. That's okay. It's also showing me this is this, but it's showing me here one pixel per stitch. And so this is what it would look like on a sweater. All right, let's go here to conversion settings. One more thing we can change. Right now, Design in it 9 has new dithering options to give you finer grain pictures, but we actually want it to be solid. And so I'm going to change it for this to solid and apply. And see how that fixed that and we don't have that dithering where it's trying to do kind of a, a mixed color. So that's okay. So we've used the tidy image. We've used the grid settings to set the rows that we need. And we're going to say, okay. I'm not gonna save this image. This is actually going to be a two color jacquard design so that we don't have floats. And I am going to use the color changer for two color jacquard on my 970 OK. And this is actually close. And you're going to go in and you're going to pick up your pencil and maybe you're going to fix this stitch right here and make it black and you're going to edit it a little bit perfectly. And you're going to say file save as. And I'm going to again save this into my folder 
and we're going to call this gymnast. And again, file, new pattern setup. I'm not going to save this. And I'm going to say here, knitting method, brother KH970, two color jacquard, stocking stitch. You have the option of changing the knitting method here if you want. All of this has been added in this new version of Design and Knit 9. Set the size from a pattern piece big enough for the front at this tension. Okay, okay. And now I have a piece of fabric. And I'm going to say edit, import a single motif. Here's my gymnast. Okay. And I'm going to put her right about here and click outside the box. And it's looking pretty good already. And let's say that we want to add second. The lettering color is always going to be the left mouse button color. And so we actually want the lettering to also be in black. So let's say ABC and see now because I changed this to left mouse button color, it's coming in black. And I want this to be I'm going to say gymnastics. Here's your fonts. Look at all these fonts that you have. I'm going to pick. Oh, let's say Comic Sans. I like that one. It can be in bold. I'm going to move this using the middle bar right about here and click outside the box to set it down. I can also specify the font size if I want this to be a little bit bigger. That's going to mess me up because I've already set it down. We're going to call this Gymnastics 2019. And I'm going to move that down here. And I'm not going to have this one in bold. And let's move this a little bit right here and set this down and turn the box off. <sighs> Apply this. Okay. And there we go. We have a sweater that we've made in a few minutes that's going to be perfect for my daughter's friend. This is a little bit off center. We can take this box and make a big box around this and we can drag this a little bit over. That looks better. Turn this box off. There, much better. So. There you go. Thank you.